Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Morning Brick, the best place for your Lego news, rumors, opinions, and discussions here at 1030s and Atlanta Brickco TV. I'm your host, Mark. We've got Daniel and Joe. Good and they did, they did not interrupt me today. Woohoo! So I was right. making sure our audio was actually working. You it know? was? Uh, let's see, hold on. It audio is working. working. Yeah, I made sure. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay, audio's working. For once. Um, and this is the regular crew, but it hasn't been the regular crew for a that's, while, that's so that's glad we're all in the same room. Yeah, that's true. This that's is true. terrific. I'm excited. This the is gang's good. back together. Exactly. That, no, no the boys are back in town. As they no, say, no what? secret message today. No, so the thumbnail I said, no secret message, sorry, and then a sad face. Nice. But here's the thing it's a secret message. Uh, the that secret that message is, is in, it, in and of itself is a secret message. It is. So, so um, you guys, uh, well it's, it's, it, yeah, it's like it's a, a good thing he didn't pull the secret <laughs> string revealing the secret <laughs> compartment. Exactly. I'm assuming that's a reference from a movie I haven't Sponge seen. SpongeBob. Yeah. Come on, Joe. That. that also sounds like um, a barbarian too. But um... well, uh, that's a different <laughs> secret that's string. Completely don't, different. Don't look that up. Don't look that up. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but but uh, no, um, we're here. We've got some great Lego news. Lots of Star Wars stuff. I'm gonna be a downer on that later. Um, but uh, let's talk about our Lego lives this week. We had a couple things going on. Um, who wants to start? I'm looking at Joe. Joe. My Lego life is sad this week. Sad? I'm packing up my Lego. Oh, oh no. Wow. To is, sell it all? Yeah, No, because I'm moving. But <laughs> Which is, is exciting. That, that is exciting. exciting. We're buying a house and we're moving. Uh, almost doubling my work commute from five to ten minutes. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I, it's going to be tough. Uh, it's it's going to be tough. hard for you to get here. I know. Time. Yeah. So expect to see me less. Yeah. Mm. Um, but no, packing up the Lego to move it is not fun. Yeah. Not fun. So that's that's all I'm doing, which is... Moving a lot of big It will be sets. great because I should have more room for it yeah. in the new house, but it's also like... Dang it. <laughs> yeah. So you've got... Um, I also can't like, buy anything new because now growing I have no money. <laughs> growing pains, right? Yeah, yeah. So growing pains. Yeah, but hey, I think long term this is terrific because you'll have a better space. It, it will more be room. great, yes. Yeah. yeah, so that is good. It's just job. painful right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you need help, I mean, give us a holler. All but, right, uh, Daniel, yeah. what about your Lego life this week? What happened? Um, well, my Lego life has been for about the last two, two and a half weeks. Yeah, I've been you want to tell us about that? Do you want to take a minute and tell us about that? Sure, can, yeah. sure. We can give you just a quick recounting of yeah. the events. Um, I did not buy a house, but I did buy this <laughs> sweet Starlord jacket at Epcot. Which is pretty cool. Uh, it's Joey, pretty comparable. Cool. Joey, and I, Joey and I went to uh, Epcot. Bro's got on, that drip. Uh, what was it? That's first Saturday yeah, when I went down there. Right before, I got right before the store opened. Uh, Sunday, which was East... The Guardians ride was fantastic, by the way. If you haven't ridden it, it's... You uh, did rave about it a lot. So it's like, I'm assuming it's really I'm good. a big roller coaster fan, and this is like the best like new age roller coaster I've maybe ever ridden. Yeah. Oh, um, that's awesome. Anyway. Then Sunday was Easter, and we were all at the store working on Easter because it was opening the next day. Right. Yep. So Joey and Lane and I, Lane's a great guy too, I hadn't oh, met yeah, him prior. Right. Uh, all of us were there working to get things ready on Easter. And then uh, April 1st was the was the opening, so we had a lot of, uh, a lot April of folks Fools, come through. April Fool's, they're open. Yeah, joke's <laughs> right. on you. Uh, April Fool's joke was we actually were open. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had a lot of people come through uh, on the Monday and, and during that week in general. Obviously, Grumpy was there because he's, you know, he works there. Flounder was there, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, Autumn Equinox Bricks came by on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that was really cool. Nice. Um, some other folks from up here in Atlanta came by. Several I think, on people the that Monday. had never been up here yet yeah. came in and were like, hey, we love y'all's YouTube channel. That's why we know about this door. So that was cool. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. That's yeah. good. So lots of fun stuff. And then, uh, you know, from there, it was just training our employees, getting things going, mm -hmm. and and they're going to be in really great shape. So mm -hmm. I'm already looking forward to getting back down there in June for the big grand opening. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that because I haven't yep. seen it yet. So, yep. But would you say we have a little bit of a built-in community there already from oh, social yeah. media? So people are yeah. aware of it. Well, right. even even in those two weeks, we already were like starting to see regular customers. I mean, there were right. probably three or four customers that we were seeing Basically every day. <laughs> they couldn't get enough of the stores. They clearly <laughs> lived too close. And it was <laughs> either it was on their work too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Within it's within like, that time right. frame, they were already seeing regular customers. So. That's amazing. No, they'll they'll be they'll be good. That's they'll fantastic. Be in good shape. Oh man, I'm excited, and I think everyone else in the chat is excited too. We've been talking about it while you guys have been gone, Absolutely. and uh, a little bit jealous we can't be down there. But I think most of us will make the trip. At if some you're point. from out of state, though, bide your time. Start making right. your travel plans. Get your plane tickets now, or get your RV fueled up if you're going to drive across the country or whatever, and yeah. we'll get you the exact date for that grand opening. Yeah, it should be can. around June 1st. We're yeah. expecting, yeah, that June 1st time, but we'll, it, it, it might be a week It'll or two now, off. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, my Lego life this week, I did a lot of Tron building, of course, still working on that. Um, trying to... See Tron? 
Uh, no, not oh, Tron. Just, regular, just uh, regular old Tron. Which it, kind of mid. somebody commented on my YouTube channel. I was like, "Well, see, something about like M Tron's better. Like the, all this stuff's Tron better. Black Tron's better." I'm like, "Well, without Tron, there wouldn't be any of those themes." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the word Tron was see? popularized before those themes, but anyway. yeah. Uh, no, it was. It's fun. So that that's been going well. I think I'm behind schedule, so I need to pick up the pace. But that'll hopefully happen later. Um, and then, yeah, just I've been doing a lot of live streams of me sorting my Lego to keep me motivated. It's been a lot of fun, so you can watch the, that on Sunday afternoons when I'm off of work. So um, check that out on my YouTube channel if you want. But yeah, it's been a lot of, lot of Lego stuff for me going nice. on. But uh, let's say hi to some of our regulars yeah, we got lots to come. in the chat. Oh my goodness, we got a whole scroll of Good chat. Good morning here. greetings. But uh, Grumpy J is here. Brick Mom VA is the first one here. Oh, so Winner, winner. Thank you, Brick Mom VA. appreciate it. And then Ben Cossey right behind everybody else. Yo, Mark got the same eyebrow raises the night in the thumbnail. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I, I was his eyebrow apparently raises. channeling the night uh, oh, yeah, energy there. Yeah. And what's funny is I should have done a Star Wars thumbnail today. I didn't really think about ah, that. whatever. But um, you it's, don't care. It's, so I, I like Castle too, so it's good. Um, We'll do it on the week of May the 4th. Yeah, and the, the secret message is that there is no secret message, which is, in fact, a secret uh, message. We talked beautiful. about that. Quite brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, and then uh, Nexus to Zach is here, Rob Poxton, Chris Dodson, uh, Brickmon VA. Thankfully, the weather didn't get her too bad. Did a little bit of hail. Not, not Hail? Um, yeah, um, and, and she had to stop okay, mowing the grass, which I feel like Brickmon VA likes to mow the grass. Is that something like she likes? Yes. Yeah, she's in the lawn so. care. Yeah, yeah it's so. so funny. She but, puts uh, on her Bose noise canceling headphones and uh -huh. gets on the, the ride on mower Starts, and just and goes you to see town. Her jamming out. Yeah, yeah I can yeah. see that. That's great. So, BJ uh, doing good. And he's in Georgia today, which is wow. a surprise. Normally that is he's, shocking. Normally he's in Cambodia or Malaysia yeah. or, or out west. He's or probably home. got some pickup orders. I guess, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you soon. <laughs> uh, Morgan is here. Scott Schiller. Sam Williamson. Next is Zach that we mentioned already. Trevor Teen. But yeah, a bunch of our friends. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Don't forget to drop a like. Oh, wait, wait. Somebody oh, asked, oh. what did Kirk Cousins buy? A Minecraft set. Oh, it was like one. The, it was one Minecraft one, set. One, like $20 well, Minecraft like, set. There's those, like, there's those, like, big sports guys who have tons of money that love Lego, and they're going to spend a ton of money if they come here. Yeah. Kirk Cousins clearly came with his son. Just for yeah. his yeah. son. A and little now, day trip to get a set. Yeah. Yeah. But it was cool to see that he came. I'm very upset at our weekend crew for not knowing who he was or recognizing him. None of them watch football. <laughs> it was still very nice that he posted something uh, yeah, about it. That's the only reason we even knew he came. Yeah. He clearly he had a good us. time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He was willing to share about hey, we made it to a Free advertising. Show. Exactly. You know, no complaints here. We'll take yeah. it. Um, and, and it was funny as I was telling this to Garrett and Ed yes, mm -hmm. yesterday. Yeah. Um, and he said that is like, it's Kirk Cousins is the guy. Who looks like every other dad <laughs> he, shopping here? I've seen a lot yeah. of videos of he really him being does. incognito, and it's like all he's doing is wearing a hat. Yeah, he was <laughs> wearing he's... just a polo shirt and pants. He looked completely normal. He's got he the looked Clark like Kent disguise. He on. looked like every other Peachtree City dad who shops here with his Fair. son. And so it's it's just he blends right, right. in, and yeah. yeah, so you wouldn't really know. Fair. But um, yeah, so it was cool to have a uh, the new Atlanta Falcons quarterback here right. shopping. Pretty well, cool. so I mean, how recently do we think he moved here? Oh, it, like he signed a month ago with okay. the Falcons. So yeah. he probably. From... Minnesota. He probably found us from like you know some travel guides or right. something, things to do. Or in someone's Atlanta like, "Yo, you gotta kids. go check this out with your son." Yeah, yeah. maybe we're because he's a big family guy. So pretty cool. Yeah, and he's gone on. I think I've seen news articles of him talking about building Lego sets for his kids. Nice. So that's that's fun. That's where that connection comes in. But uh, yeah, and then Corey has a come for us. Joe, so proud. Can we see the new train room in your new house? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna. Yeah, do. the giant I train about that. You've yeah. been dreaming of your whole life. Wait, Joe. no, Corey. How about you? you Steve Rogers yeah. disguise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Ah, uh, yes, sports ball. American sports, <laughs> sports ball. Balls. Yeah, it's not just any sports ball. It's American That's sports right, ball. American sports which ball. Which is all the right. things. That's all the right. best. Anyway, um, we've got a ton of Lego news, so we'll, we may as well dive in. What do you guys want to talk about first? What's the thing that's burning on the tip of your tongue? Gotta... Well, let's do the non-Star Wars stuff first and get it out of the way. Okay. Because it'll be lame to end on. The most important news is we got a sneak peek of some of the new characters oh, from the latest Ninjago wave. This one's all you, Joe. Yeah, you want to this tell us about this? This is a weird picture. Also, the the thing I keep focusing on when I see this is what the heck is he holding? Is yeah. it like a whip? It's a grappling anchor? hook thing. Yeah, yeah. Like... that's a whip jitsu. Oh, <laughs> whip jitsu. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the throwback for you. These are two of the characters I could care less about, so I really 
don't care. No, oh, you're not a Lloyd and Aaron fan? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like we've seen this weird hook like piece thing in other forms. Like, wasn't it usually on like the end of a staff or something? I, I, haven't, had... I haven't seen it before. I, not in this whip form. It looks sort of similar. Part, right. But I feel like there was a kind of weird hook shaped yes. thing that maybe Garmadon yes. had on a staff. From like the Lego movie. Yeah. yeah. Or Lego Ninjago I, think movie. That's, I know yeah. what you're talking about. I think yes. that's the big takeaway here is that, I don't know that if that's whip based on some whip piece actual new, weapon or something. And it's neat. And I haven't really no, seen those short swords very often. I guess they're in the new weapons pack. I think they're part of that standards weapon. Because those pack. little um, katanas are like or, a third or the size. Or it's a horrible rendering and they're normal. Well, they're holding them upside down too, no, which would suggest they're different. The, look at the they do look shorter. Sure. No, they definitely look. Yeah, I think they're like right. the ones that have been around it for a while in like the oh, trans neon so green that, and trans. They're just pink. too long actually in that picture then. Oh, because okay. Those aren't quite that long. Yeah. If it's anyway. that same piece. Or it's a new piece. We never know. There's some say. there's some confusion based on the angle of the photo. I, mean, I, I think it'd be cool if it's just short katanas. Yeah. Kind of cool. I'd like that. But so there's some new possibilities here. But that's about it for Ninjago. And and we're all not like terribly excited about these. I think the outfits look. Fine. I, I know the uh, this wave has some of their suits are called climber suits, mm -hmm. so they must be doing some sort of climbing. Sure, that's why they should grab us. And yeah. the hoods are off; you can see their hair. I like that. But yeah, okay, moving on, moving on. All right. um, we also have the Lego icons. This is cool. Yes, Lamborghini Countach. And have we heard sick. about this, or is this no? The this newest? is this the yeah, okay. this first is time we've heard about this one. And I did see on one of those, uh, like, what are those called? Those channels. That people have on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw someone posted a picture of the back of it. Oh, I didn't That's see all that. they okay. had, and, yeah. but it did look great. Yeah, okay. and you know, I'm excited to see this one in person. It's already one of the best. Speed Champions ones. I yes. haven't sealed. I haven't well, built I, it. But. I feel like that's what they're doing now. Is they can make these small Speed Champions ones, and see which ones sell it, the best, yeah. and then up it to this like 150, I 180. I see no problem special. with that, right? Yeah. yeah. So no, I think this is going to be fantastic. This will really sell very well. Sleek, iconic. Car. I know Grant's probably losing his mind over it. I'm yeah. sure. All the car fans. He was hyped yeah. when the the you know twenty dollar uh, Speed Champions one came out. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, oh, Countach. Yeah. I just want to see more licensed uh, icons cars like this yeah. size. At, at this size. So, like yeah. the Batmobile that's coming. Is that one icons? It's it 150 is. price point. Okay. It is. It might be a little That'll smaller or something. Uh, it'll probably be about yeah. I missed that week that we talked. I mean, yeah, I knew that, I had heard about right. it, but I wasn't here when we talked. So, that, it. yeah, so that, like, more yeah, of that. That'll be good. I agree. I do think those, like, the DeLorean. Because I remember DeLorean. we've DeLorean. talked in the past right. about, like, other ones that we would want. I don't think Batmobile came to mind but it's the like classic yeah, one so that'll, that'll, be, that'll be cool yeah i mean i like the the corvette that came out a while back the that one's nice one i do want to get at some point this is right in that vein of really cool car that's worth building at this i scale. like the older sure. cars yeah. i mean the classic ones are just cooler yeah exactly <laughs> well that was cool and uh we want to continue with the non-star wars stuff for a while or wait, wait let's see let's talk about uh, dreams for a second yeah sure so season two streaming may 17th which is actually coming up big um, hype and yeah, um, so season one, I some of us it. saw it. I didn't even know if they were gonna do a season two. Honestly, I thought I, they were just gonna keep I making really sets. I really could care less about the show, but the sets are awesome. Yeah, so we, that's my. We talked my about the opinion. sets last week, and Daniel missed that. I think, and but they um, were sick. you couldn't that, care less. I couldn't care less. You said you could care less. I could, I could care less. Actually, <laughs> that's not <a> okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> I this, could care less. I do like how it's not an expression. the it's nightmare, now. the nightmare hunter, is still there as part of the bad guys. That's he true. didn't get defeated. He didn't turn good. He's still there. That's fun. Just the nightmare king. Uh, the night, 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 night king is not okay. here. You what got happened the to new him? character. I don't know. Maybe I don't he was think defeated. I finished watching season one. Because <laughs> season, in the end of season one, he was still very much alive as a cliffhanger. Oh, okay. So I don't know. They just this... well, maybe it starts opening and she just like kicks him off. Cliff. Yeah, it's something like, that. like my turn. Yeah, that would be missed, very Lego. Unless I missed like the second half of the season, but I don't remember. I saw it all. I don't. I'm, at least the first part. Um, but yeah. So um, yeah, none of us are particularly excited about this content. Hopefully, it improves because the first season was kind of not great for adults. So. <laughs> Um, but again, the sets are awesome. Exactly. And then uh, this is something we were all excited about earlier. Let's talk about oh, this for a second. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, this just kind of fell out of the sky. Talking well, about so licensing. I first saw this on Reddit just this morning when I woke up, which is where it leaked, which was mm -hmm. somebody saying, um, oh, shoot, let me see if I can find it again. Here, start talking about it for yeah. a second. Um, uh, it's, it's official NASA licensed product Artemis Space Launch System. This is a big set, 3,600 pieces. It's not just the rocket. You got the whole launch station too. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, they could have just put this rocket on a stand and right. call it a we day. Right, Saturn V. 
Okay, Great so the, set. the person yeah. who found it was very oblivious. They said, a set I didn't know existed, but now I very much want, found in the Taipei airport. Yeah, and <laughs> So look, they just happened to cross it, it in the like wild. The Eiffel Tower. So they have the, well, again, they always, the yeah. The largest sets in the airport Never possible. makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get it. But this person, you know, I guess doesn't keep up with the current catalog, and they just thought it was kind of a neat thing, and they posted a picture of it, and everyone's like, oh, hey, what? wait a minute. <laughs> everyone's losing their <laughs> like, mind. Oh, this hasn't yeah. been released. You need to go back and buy that immediately. Right. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. <laughs> ben Gazi says, I love that it turned up at a random airport Lego store. That'd be the yeah. dream to see that after a flight. Exactly. Right. A lot of people like, would pay what? good money for that. Mm -hmm. It is incredible looking, though. Yeah. It, it's insane. The amount of parts that have gone into the launch pad and the tower yeah. is crazy. Mm -hmm. And and what's the price point on this one? I think it was two something. Uh, 260 it wasn't even something. that bad. 269. Let's back up. 260. Yeah. May 15th. So it really not that far 5, away. 5,600 parts. Yeah, that's a lot of parts. For so that's like a nice five cent per part. Yeah. Well, then maybe price. that maybe that's a poor conversion or something. I don't know. That does well, seem not quite it right. It says it says I see three six oh one on PC. Oh, thirty six. So. Yeah. So it might be a little less. Oh, oh yeah, I see that. Thirty six. It's right okay. at the bottom, so it is like fuzzing out. But I feel so like that's right on ten cents. I feel right. like that's a good deal. Yeah. So that's that's, that's pretty. Or good. well, no, two sixty. No, it's still still a good price. It should be. But that sounds more realistic. Yeah. So um, it's and it's just it's huge. It's awesome. We like space stuff. This is great. So lots of nice dark orange stuff in there. It, but... it just it's so cool and so detailed. Mm -hmm. I'm getting some Eiffel Tower vibes Seven with the scaffolding. So, yeah. Well, no, it's <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely Eiffel Tower vibes. Well, it's the way they've constructed. Right, they didn't yeah. use the the support pieces. They use the bars with the little hinge Correct, connectors, yeah. which is going to be very repetitive. <laughs> very <part laughs> it's it's going to look cool. It, it looks is. cool. It is. Yeah. All right, so that's um, some Lego news we are excited about. Do you want to talk about... Okay, Ben uh, Cosby makes everything just... He says it's cool, but it's also a parts back. He does that with everything. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're I right. I don't blame him. You're the best right. sets... It is a great parts pack. The best sets can do both. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, so, yeah. Get you a set who can do both. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What this else we got? Around. We've got a lot of Star Wars. You want to dive I, into that? That's or? everything I had that's not Star Wars. Does I, anybody have anything else? I see Chris move and stuff out there. I want to make sure he wasn't coming in. <laughs> He's um, up to something. The last non-Star Wars news I have is we have uh, some great pictures of the Lego City animals now. Oh, and yes. These, Ooh, these dropped on, sorry. moments after. The, the, it, the Artemis had... What are you zooming in on that for? Hmm? Well, okay, it just... It, it was a bad look. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. zooming in Joe on Artemis. Joe was zoomed in on Gorilla, but... No, it changed pictures on me. <laughs> the Artemis has gray, dark bluish gray um, roller coaster track. Oh, yeah, the straight uh, ones. There. I don't know. It could be light. It looks dark gray. gray to me, but okay, it, well, it looks dark. We'll find out. I suppose. Yeah. It could be light. It could just be the. It could be the pearl picture. dark gray. They have done that be, already. Well, okay. Well, uh, so we, we have some. He brought that up. He said perfect for new Hoshima stuff. Yeah. Oh, I, always. <laughs> some question marks there. All right, you can go back to the gorilla Hushima butt. Pack. Let's go back to the gorilla. And and you can't really see the gorilla butt from here, but we'll get uh, to that in a second. Man, but here's I'm all three creatures. I didn't stop Joe from trying. Yeah. Uh, now we'll get it for you here, Joe. There you go. Bottom uh, left. I've been framed. But no, this Hang on, is... let me just... Yeah, uh, there you go. You got that rear end picture of the Kuntash? Yeah. <laughs> they got the uh, super cool mold, very flexible with the arms. It, it looks uh, really good. Yeah, and uh, two studs wide. You can have a little gorilla right on the back. Let's see if we can show the picture here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's awesome. That's that's what we needed. That's perfect. That's cute. Um, and this is actually, like, we looked at the prices of the set a while back, like a number of weeks remember. back. And it's, this is not, like, hard to get. I think it's, like, it, a $40, $50 horrible. set, $30 set. So um, I'm going to get this for sure. <laughs> Brick Mom said bottom left. Good one, Mom. <laughs> yeah, Yikes. exactly. Oh, Yikes. oh, yeah, that was totally intentional by me. Um, no, um, so Baby Gorilla looks great. Also, two studs wide, which is interesting. Um, and then you've got the Red Panda, which looks cool as well. So a uh, very detailed mold in the Red Panda with all the colors. Yeah, a cool animal to do. My only beef with the Gorilla is that the arms can spin, but, like, it can't go up, up on its down. hind legs. I, so yeah. there's some interesting pictures where like its hands are sticking straight up but it's still it's bent yeah, over. Yeah, it's like, so funny. I saw that too. It, should it be does able, look a bit know. weird. I guess you could make him sit down if you I don't know. You know cuz then he'd be staring at yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the it's really a one pose thing where it can lift its arm maybe. Yeah. You know, it really can't do that the, much. The molded so. animals are always great, but they sometimes leave you wanting a little more in terms of posability. Well, I mean, the old Lego camel had nothing. It was just a stationary animal. So it's like, which for something horse. like that is probably okay. Yeah, but this is has I mean, at least the horses a few. can rear up, which is great, and the heads can move. There's a but few. Sometimes movements. they, uh, I think, go a little too, a little too few but, on the moving. But parts. now you can do your nice, you know, Planet of the Apes 
Mock. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about that. I, I've been watching the newer movies for the yeah. first time, and they're all really good. I've never right. seen them, but I'm sure they're good actually. I'm not going to get on another you Planet of the Apes. You did Space Odyssey with the, uh, the obelisk. Or what was it called? Monolith? Yeah, yeah. You could have the gorillas <laughs> jumping around. Somebody's going to build a big black rectangle and put a bunch of gorillas around it. I, that's a perfect <laughs> mock idea, Dale. Awesome. All right, yeah. now, all we have left is pretty much Star Wars. Where do you guys want to begin? I'm going to let you guys choose this time. Uh, you get the brickhead, Cody Brickhead. We do have the brickhead. Let's talk about Let's the brickhead. Start with that. Where did I put it? There it is. I can't believe we got there Tony is. and not Rex. I, well, uh, you never know. Yeah. Never so this is not as good as Rex. I mean, I, I would prefer Rex. He's just a better character in my opinion. But Cody is cool, and this uh, is a cool brickhead. Yeah, I think this this looks great. Having the the face two Cody is mm -hmm. is yeah. awesome. Um, same as the helmet. Helmet was phase one or phase two? Phase one. You're this right. Should be a You're right. The Rex was phase two. So this right. is the opposite of that. So um, it's neat. I yeah. like the phase two version better for him. Um, the price kind of surprised me on this one. It was ten dollars. So you know. Not, not... Oh, I was I was about to say, did they change it? <laughs> like no, they the still one... haven't changed well, it. Well, see, that's the one thing I love about Brickheads is they've stuck I, with I the price point. I can't believe they have a... not changed like, it. Like, and it's very specific, you know, because there's ten dollars for one. Yeah. Double packs for normal size ones. 20 bucks, $10. Same thing. It always but if it, there's a mid sized one, that's only five. They're always half. And like, yeah. if it's a five pack, like the indoor one, yeah, they we'll like just that add in a, it, you know. And so we no, could tell exactly one. how many of oh, the indoor one, yeah. Games. So mm -hmm. I like that they're very like on the point with that, they right? Don't change it hasn't changed with inflation, it hasn't changed as we're seeing these be more detailed, yeah. more parts intensive, a lot more printed parts, yeah. mm -hmm. coming in these because like they never do stickers, lot. they never do stickers and brick heads, as far as I know, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic that they've kept that consistent, and I think this is a really great looking one. That's so. funny. Morgan said, does he come with the Palpatine hologram? Because in the side <laughs> picture, he definitely is doing the um, He's got a little transparent has, stud, but yeah. that's about so all I can he see. He doesn't have he the has a little I don't think it would fit, thing. but... Yeah, you need an anti I think it would have looked a little out of scale, yeah. But, uh, it's no. easy to swap out if you want. Yeah, looks good. Um, and yeah, it, it's not maybe not the exact clone that everyone wants, it's, but it's a clone. We love Cody. Yeah. We do like Cody. Yeah. It's just, he's the guy that you're like, if you just watch the sequels, or mm -hmm. the prequels, and then you just see him be like, okay, you're like, okay, Cody, come on. But if you hey. watch the Clone Wars and you understand yeah. the story yeah. behind it, then you're like, okay, you feel for him. Good soldiers follow orders, Joe, you know that. No, oh, they were sleeper agents. It's yeah. not their fault. <laughs> yeah, they had, they were a, program. They, they they had, had an activation in their code. brain. Yeah. yeah. Daniel knows that now. They got that neural link in them. Oh, All right, I knew that. So. <laughs> I knew that stuff. I didn't think they were just betraying them for the sake well, of right. betraying them. I yeah. knew it was like some sort of programmed thing. Yeah, they were hypnotized. All right, yeah. but here's the brickhead I'm really excited about. Yeah. And it's so the Jar Jar so over there on the <laughs> left. This is, yes. this is great. There have been a lot of custom Jar Jar brickheads over the years. Mm -hmm. um, some of them better than others, but I... I don't know. This one, it works, but I think it's maybe not as good as some of the custom ones have been. He's probably not. He's fine. You know, he's fine. But I um, like him. Can we fine. just move on to the next one and go, okay, this is the one time they should have given one a mouth. Oh, because when the Anakin. goggles flip down, he looks freaky, bro. <laughs> Like he just it's looks fine. I I like that they put the helmet on him. I think I it's do cool. too. But if it had just been just a little kid wearing a dark tan outfit with blonde yeah. hair, that would have been the lamest brickhead maybe ever. Correct. Yeah. This is it is good, but it's just a little it's a little disturbing. No, I'm I'm glad they went this direction. With but it. Amadala, man, mm -hmm. fantastic. Look at that hair. Right. There have also just... been some really wild customs of that one. However, they're usually pretty unrealistic yeah. with some of the parts they right. include. But this is this is great. I think this is fantastic. Getting some of those metallic gold elements really sets it off yeah this is very solid very cube shaped but that's what brickheads are all about so yeah. i love that we got panaka mm -hmm. he's a cool character and he his outfit is so cool he's got the colors. dark red sand blue and gold i really yeah. thought he was going to be In... padawan obi-wan but i i see why they wanted to do something that right. was much different than the other characters yeah. they've done set. brickheads of obi-wan before one. so well, yeah just so, the one yeah just the one from the his one show from it was the one with of him and vader Qui -Gon They've never looks... done old Obi Wan or young. Qui Gon actually looks beautiful. I think he looks like Qui Gon Jinn. The yeah. little mustache is perfect. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. He looks really good. I want to see what the back of the hair looks like because right. I, I feel like that's like a pretty. Bun. Yeah, that's a pretty defining part of his his character. I don't look. think we have a, uh, a picture of the back. No, I'm the sure rear, we don't. But... It just looks pretty plain. And then the last one, here. Darth Maul. Yeah, I mean, this the, is perfect. The, he looks great. <laughs> the way they've the chosen to do the horns with the little pyramids is great. Yeah, and the little sure. the black one by one plates under the eyes is yeah. perfect. The kind of the sunken look to yeah. him. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. He looks um, very cool. 
some people, Ryan included, were commenting on the fact that this Darth Maul has pupils, whereas the mini version does not. <laughs> so if you want your Maul with pupils, you can still get them just in brickhead form. That's so funny. So oh, I know some people are not happy with the eyes on that, but I think, yeah. you know, whatever yeah. they choose to do is different, and that's good. Because right. you can get the old Maul if you want You can always get to. the old. Yeah, so. Uh, no, that's that's some great brickheads. I actually like this I, one. What is this, 55? 55, again, so 10 apiece and 5 for the halves. It's perfect. I will get this. Yeah. Yep. I want this. Minus Jar Jar. Can, I, can I buy your Jar Jar off of you? Actually, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I will, there I will you, literally, you go. There I will literally go. pay you 10, 10 bucks. bucks. Yeah. Why, so you can <laughs> that's throw it in the, the deal. Actually, no, no. I think he's worth 25. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll talk later. Well, yeah, maybe 12 or 15. We'll work on no, it. Okay. It's going to be the pricey one. Yeah. All right. Well, you know how much people are going to want. <laughs> uh -huh. All But no, that's that's. It. I think we're all pretty oh, happy about this. Oh, Scott Schiller had a good question. Oh, really? Let's see. Yeah, he, he had a good question about Darth Maul. <laughs> Is he modular? Is he a tube? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. That would be funny if they made him, like, in his midsection, he's he was just, tiled like, off with, like, a couple studs to hold it together, yeah. like the floors in a modular building. The best thing I don't ever. think I, they would. I do doubt it, but it would be the coolest thing ever if they did. You could yeah. do it easily, though, you based could. on that skirt piece there. You could just have it be, yeah. you know, modular. Well, you know there's going to be people who mod this by breaking him in half and giving him, like, the robot legs mm -hmm. for the Clone oh, Wars. Yeah, I'd love that to see that. Cool. Do, like, a, a brickhead style robot legs. Exactly, and then uh, Ben Kaiser says, "This is a good parts pack." Oh, exactly. Boy. Yeah, 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 there yeah. it is. Every mm -hmm. sense of parts pack. <laughs> exactly, and, and Ben's a really serious mock builder. So, I mean, he can—he right. has a different perspective him, than yeah. many collectors would. Uh, he also brought up the printed tile on Amidala, yeah. the, the Nexo Shield. I love that. This piece. is one I would really love to see turn up on like bricks and pieces yeah. or mm -hmm. in the factory things or something. Because if you had a lot of these, you could do banner. some crazy, you know, floor tile patterns or yeah, yeah. banners and things. It's uh, a Great looking piece. in a castle. Who knows? That's pretty neat. All yeah. right. Well, um, we talked about that. We talked about Brickhead Cody. We've got a. Let's talk, talk about a set that everyone's been talking about for a long time, eagerly anticipated the TIE Interceptor Poly Bag. Yay! Here yeah. it is. Woo! TIE Interceptor. All I mean, right. Listen, not gonna lie. Pretty good. It's it's not bad. Right. I mean, it, this it, is just <laughs> every UCS set they've been doing over the last few years, they do a Poly Bag as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah was boring because it's just an X-Wing. But this one's actually kind of cool. This is fine. This is cool. I don't I don't buy Bali bags, really, if they don't have many fakes. So, like, I don't care, but it's cool. There's and, a fan base for these. Right. And Bali bags have gotten really good. I mean, I, I at least have enough space to collect midi-scale ships, right. but I could see somebody having, like, All a those, whole lineup yeah. of, of Poly bags and builds look bad. Of, of Star Wars ships, and it really wouldn't look bad, and it wouldn't take up very much space. Right. Mm -hmm. And it'd be cheap. I yeah. like that dish... That probably printed dish. Um, yeah. Ben yeah. said this is not a good parts bag. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ben. All right. Are those the new wedges? The old wedges? That's the old wedge, right? Yeah. yeah so that's not, the not wedge plate. Yeah, yeah, that's not the sorry, rare ben. one. Yeah. They're not the. Uh, what is it like? Uh, four by six? Or yeah, they're, they're the three by six. There's a different angle of wedge yeah. that I like to collect, yeah. but um, yeah. So this is. I mean, this is fine. It has its market, and uh, they, they'll enjoy it. Next. Yep. All right. Um, let's see. I we've got another Big good boy. thing to talk about Big here. Boy. No, 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 no. Let's talk about the R2-D2 keychain. Yeah. Oh, yay! Okay. okay. I miss this. Also, it's not R2-D2 specific. It's the I mean, 25 that's years. The, that's the symbol yeah. they're using for all the 25. Well, I mean, yeah, it's R2-D2. Well, but it's not specifically r 2 <laughs> You're right. It is It is for 25 yeah, years of LEGO Star Wars. I like when they back. do keychains like this that are like that that durable metal. This is going to last yeah. longer than most right. keychains that LEGO makes. Well, it's more appropriately sized and weighted, I would imagine, in comparison with, like, say, the Best Scar or the Han Solo and Carbonite. Or yeah. Those some are of the other heavy. really giant clunky ones. This is looks this is like cool. a real keychain. Right. Yeah, it's reasonable. It's not going to be too sharp a, on the edge. One of the gift with purchases? Yes. I don't know the exact price point for I this. I feel like that's, like, the $40. I yeah. didn't see this in the tiers I that I got. But usually, so... like, the last couple years those have been like about 40 bucks yeah, yeah. this will be I'm in that lower quite certain if this will fall under that or maybe it'll be like an insider's redeemable it thing it could I'm be that sure. actually i don't remember mm -hmm. but it's neat it's yeah it's fine yeah it's good and next, then while we're promo. on the subject of collectible promo -y things there's this poster here yeah that's poster, kind of yeah. hot looks that pretty one cool. is an insider redeemable thing from yes. what i can tell all right yeah now all of those figures on there have been made in lego form except one Oh no! Um, and you might want to hide the you subscribe wanna, for more awesome you Lego play Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me hide that banner real quick. Yeah. Uh, All the way at the bottom. Right. Yep. Yeah. Ten num. Yeah. Why? We really have never we got have him gotten in any form. a ten num. 
But not that one. But not that one. Yeah. Well, because some of these figures no. are very old. Yes. So is he, is he that drastically different yes. in design to the yes. one we got? And Jedi they, Bob's on there. Yeah, but somebody said, yeah. that one of the designers I saw said, like, hey, you know, I'm not going to break any NDAs, but I can talk about this. And since this poster doesn't have any non-official Lego figures on it, I can't say it's happening but okay. it's so you specifically called it. that one out. Yes, okay. because people are like, "Hey, why is this one on here?" That's interesting. You even got Star Killer. So what's that? I don't know when he's going to come. Another in. Falcon. But we should. Oh, that'd be interesting. The Dark Falcon. Oh, the no, not I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't suggesting the Dark Falcon, but I, yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll see. He, he maybe he's coming. Java Cell Barge. This so this is this could be what, what you're <laughs> saying is so. this is implying that the this is going to exist soon. I would assume. Yeah. Quite possibly. Because literally all the other ones. Yes, Morgan has a good point. Ka- all There's Kaz, some really good ones on there. Kaz Zino is, is a deep cut. That is quite the wild figure to be on there. Which one? Where? Um, oh. Yeah, put the mouse over. That guy. They can't oh, see the Oh, yes. With the, no, I know, with the multicolored. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a great figure, but he's from like... Resistance? I right? think it's resistant. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it's a good swath of characters, and it's I not always the most Andre modern Trump. version of it. Like, you've got the old classic General Grievous, oh, yeah. the old classic right. Jar Jar. Which is cool. And it's a good a mix of new characters, cool too. Some yellow faced ones. I would love in. this to be turned the other way mm-hmm. and it to be a computer pad. A wide. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hey, now that this exists, you could at least just, you know, scan that and, right. you know, <laughs> make I it don't know one. the size, but I know it's going to be 1,800 points. Mm-hmm. Which is a lot, so start saving your points. I would imagine it's big just based on it, it, that amount of points. It's a lot of detail, too. Um, yeah. What is that, like $10 worth of points? Yeah, it's probably a decent size. Hopefully, uh, so. I yeah. think it's just, I think 1650 is 10 or 5 mm-hmm. I don't. Somewhere. I, well, I remember we were I talking twenty seven. I hate insiders for twenty seven hundred for the bucks, things was like twenty. Yeah. So it's six fifty is five, I think. Actually. Yep. Ella says, "Oof, Star Killer." <laughs> yeah, he's on there. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, hey. So yeah, they weren't Revan. shying away. Revan's on there. Yeah, yeah. Revan. Some other figures that you think they would do again at some point. Somebody yeah, who um, knew what they were doing chose these characters. They also yeah, <laughs> they they did the Scout Trooper, the the, the Kashyyyk, Kashyyyk, Kashyyyk one with the sand green Thrawn. Yeah, Queen Amidala. I mean, dude. You got the newer Sabine Wait, style there. Yeah. Oh, Sam Wessel, mm-hmm. Ayla Secura Mark. Yeah, Ayla. I, I noticed that. Malgus, yeah. Max Reba. Like, they picked the, some of the coolest minifigs. It's possible. a great poster. Yeah. And some... there's Jar Jar for some reason. <laughs> and it's the classic Jar Jar. It's not just uh, yeah. a newer Jar Jar. They did the classic Phase 2 clone as well. Very cool. Cad Bane. Yeah. The a classic Boba's on there, which is cool. But right you by. can't quite see enough to tell if he has arm printing. This one? No, he's, yeah. he doesn't. I, I see yellow. There's I a little yellow on this. Actually, maybe he has I, I don't know. I see a little yellow disc uh, on maybe, his shoulder. Or maybe it's just the glare. Just I don't know. We'd have to shot. get a higher resolution photo, right. I think. Based on what I'm seeing here, I would think that it, it might, is subtly. It might be. They might have given you just a tiny glimpse of that only real... Only the truest fans would know, I guess. Yeah, but um, I don't know. very exciting. Um, this is something I think a lot of people try to redeem. So. Yeah, but where is Aldo Arbido? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Where is Gascano? Where, is where the... are they? <laughs> where is Gascano? Yeah. Oh, what's this? So this is the uh, uh, classic Cash? logo coin, I believe, because it says oh, coin on the bottom of the box cool. there. So. That's right. That, one that is coin. sick. So that's probably metal, and it's probably really cool. Yeah. That is cool. The classic logo. This is what I like as a gift with purchase, because right. it's something that people will want. I feel it's... like this might be another insider's thing. I think this one's also an insider's yeah. one. I, I have the list of ones for May the 4th. The only thing that I find a little disappointing is that they didn't fit it all completely on the coin. Right. It's not round. Yeah, just just <laughs> take it down just a, a like few Just pixels. a little, Come guys. Yeah. It, it's not yeah. that hard. Coins usually don't have jagged, irregular yeah. edges. Yeah. Anyway, um, but I do like the classic logo making an appearance again. Yes, for sure. For sure. Because we saw that make a comeback with the, you know, the, in the Chrome Vader era. What was that anniversary? 10, mm-hmm. 15? Beard. Whatever you that, that was, was. That was 10. Yeah, I mean, 10 years. Yeah, because it was 2009, so yeah. 10 years, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the last little boxable thing here we have is another this, coin. Another coin, and it's the trench run, and it looks kind of three dimensional. Yeah. What it's do you think? It's actually kind of sick. Well, so this, it, it does look like it has some texture to it, so it's probably engraved. This is one of the, the gift with purchases, so we've got, I guess we'll work our way from the bottom up. Um, double points on all Star Wars sets, awesome. double VIP, insiders, whatever you want to call it, points. On all Star Wars sets will be fantastic. Uh, the lowest threshold, forty to forty-five dollars, is the AAT Poly bag, which is the oh. one we've already seen. It's already out. It's the tan yeah. AAT, which is a good Poly bag, but right. it's kind of strange that they're doing all these other promos, but not. It's not the interceptor. For the gift with purchases. Mm-hmm. What? It's not the interceptor. No, it's not the That's interceptor. Weird. It's the AAT, which so is the already out. Coming? 
I don't it's know. It might just be for sale, probably. Um, this is called the Battle of Yavin coin, if mm -hmm. it purchase. So, yeah, I mean, it looks like the trench run, but I guess it was the Battle of Yavin. Um, that one's $90 to get that one, which seems kind of like pretty, yeah. a lot, pretty steep. Um, and then the last one, which I think we've got pictures for as well, is going to be the uh, droid carrier Let's gift with purchase. It, which is nice. Which is, uh, it's a nice gift with purchase. It's a good set. $160 threshold, though, which... Listen, I, let me just put this in perspective. I'm not going to complain. Because they've been doing the flower shop for two hundred dollars. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But so, these are all only with Star Wars purchases. These are not it's generic. Easy to, it's easy to do Star Wars. You buy a big it's Star a Wars good set. Yeah. set. Yeah. It's got a bunch of droids for your droid army. I don't think it's worth complaining. I think the about. Dune Ornithopter counts. If I buy one of those. I think counts. Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's sci-fi. I think it's specifically Star Wars. Yeah. No. I, it's I bet, wrong desert planet. I bet yeah. if I bought it and wrote to customer service and was like, oh, I bought this thinking it was a Star Wars. <laughs> That maybe it to you, that maybe, would be yeah. funny. No, yeah. So I, now I just want you to try it. This set, I really like no, this I don't, set. I don't scan this. I really want to buy this set for $20. I really $20 don't want to play. Is, Mark, that would retail for 30 bucks. Okay, I really want to buy this for $30. We'll get them in here because there are going to be a lot of people who don't like this one. And we'll get a lot traded in and it'll probably be 60 bucks. I'm a little grumpy, but um, I'm not going to go, go into detail. The gift I, of purchases that have been like that's true. 200 plus dollars have been 60 bucks. This, one, this one might Star be like Wars. a 40 or $50. One. No, it's also yeah. Star Wars. But it's not that I mean there's no exclusive character in it. Correct. There's no there's no Aunt Beiru. Well, you know? I've heard that both the pilot droids are new, but I could it be might wrong. be new print. Well, so. yeah. They're, but still they're still not new. Old, so they're still just battle as droids. As far as uh, yeah, but um, still just battle droids. Yeah. Anyway, so I I would have liked to see this as a retail set I don't, versus a gift I don't purchase. I don't disagree, but, but I do think it's not a bad gift. It's not purchase. that out of the range. I think it's good yeah. for this. I think this would have been weak for a actual set. All right, well, I mean, this this was completing. You're clearly the third, not a separatist. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Oh, are you? Um, I like droids. I don't no, know. I had all the original battle packs, and so we got in the in the new combo pack. You got basically all the elements of those right. original packs, mm -hmm. except for this. You got so the clone speeder. You that. got the stab. You got all the other things, and so this was kind of the last piece if you wanted to assemble kind of those original Which ones. Which is cool that they But did. I see why they did this for the gift with purchase, because it was the one that didn't require any crazy exclusive figs or anything. Mm -hmm. It's really relatively common parts. Yeah. You could probably almost rebuild this on your own, just a few yeah. weird slopes with notwithstanding. But, yeah, um, the brown curved sort of macaroni thing yeah, might be that's, new. I don't yeah, know if it's been in that color. I think that's newer. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's on Chewbacca or something, but... Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not on his I was, uh, that's for sure. We do like the look of that set. That. We Some of us would have liked to find that in a different way than just a... you get it. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to whine it. Uh, later. Did, but, we, um... did we have pictures of the book? Yes. We're getting to that. Yep. Uh, you want to talk about that? Hold on. Before we get to the book... What do you guys think about this? What? Oh, no. Oh, just... I didn't even write this down, Mark. So, so here's the thing. Lego and Star Wars and Fortnite have already combined for the normal survival game, build game. Right. This is apparently different. This is something else new. Okay, well, but if it's like a battle royale, that'd be cool. I doubt that they're going to have Lego figures killing each like other. Like a battlefront? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a battlefront? Actually, no, that'd be insane. I would um, be so happy. They call People it... have been making mods for battlefront to make it Lego for... <laughs> A long time. Yeah. So this is the Lego Fortnite Star Wars Battlefield Front. <laughs> yeah. So not Fortnite. Battlefront. Yeah. So but no. we don't know anything other than this is something separate. Yes. And okay. and based on like the Lego Islands just, game, uh, this it's is... probably its own game mode that Star Wars themed. So we'll see. Um, hopefully, it's more interesting than the several that have come out already. Well, we'll hope. Yeah. As long as it's not a physical product. <laughs> I don't think it is. And moving on. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, I th I find that very mysterious, though. I think that could be something great or something terrible in there. So, uh, but uh, speaking of something terrible, um... <laughs> what, if that, what if that was why we were getting stuff like the Dark Falcon and Jedi Bob's Starfighters because they were going to be in Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Okay. Um, I was like, why else are we would be be getting those? Crazy I have sets some thoughts on this, but I want to hear the real Star Wars fans' opinions, guys. What do you think? This is a, an incredible product. It's okay. a behemoth. Uh, incredible is, product, yes. It is an I'll incredible product, but mm -hmm. it is a very hefty price point. Yeah, yes. 150 bucks. This is a premium, premium. I've never spent <laughs> anywhere near that amount. But of I mean, from what they've given us, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff to see in here. Like a lot just of those never right before there seen stuff. Are like holograms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a Vader and a Leia that that they didn't do a Leia like that. They did a Leia with a with hood. With the cape, yeah. 
Uh, and then a clone, they never did that. So that's cool to see. And then the Zam Wessel, yep. an updated one that we've yeah. never gotten. And it's there's, highly upsetting. There's and a, I think those buildable pictures figures. May, had leaked, may have leaked in the past. The Possibly. Zam but yes, the buildable figures are ones we have seen before. You know, yeah. those were the two that got canceled, which would have been the two of the coolest ones. Yes. Super yeah. Battle More droid like things. That's More the mechanical ATRT things. I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got you. Super cool, but so there's some neat things to be found in this book for sure. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm ex- and then that's These wild. Cool. That's wild to see the where they like. I like those stands better, mm-hmm. but I don't like the helmets better. Well, the Boba Fett the one looks better to me. Parts heavy. I see why well, they did. Right, I understand what's just they a waste changed. of parts. I like yeah. I like the the plaques better. I'll put it more like Basically that. Basically, a big book of Star Wars prototypes. And yeah, stuff, which is so. sick. Yeah. So I think Justin already said he wants to get this one, so he'll bring it for show and tell. Yeah. He better. Because I want to look through that. I want to borrow. I'm it. not going to be ponying up for this, but I do I, like how I, cool I mean, the content I, yeah. is. So. 150 bucks. Yeah. That's a big chunk of Barador. So, so, do you think it's just the size of the book that's determining the price? Yeah, or do you think it, they're rounding that up because it's, it's Star Wars lot. and cool? So. And it is cool. Yeah. And it's made of four. Yeah. So they, they know where they can VIP charge. Points. Yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm guessing if you can buy this on Lego.com, it should be points. Yeah. Right. So. But uh, yeah, um, pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, I uh, I think it could have been a little cheaper, but you know that's just. You could me. always say that. I, I'm not I'm not a real Star Wars fan, so I'm not gonna. I don't know that I've in. ever paid more than sixty dollars. That's for what I was book. saying, and that's like. That's like a big, you know, like concept art for a video game, mm-hmm. you know, the art of whatever, book, for like a big coffee table book. I And this is over double that. Yeah. I mean, that's insane. Yeah, I, I've paid that 50, 60 range. Yeah. I could even see it maybe even creeping up to like 80, 100, but 150 just seems crazy. So I don't know. I could be wrong. So we, some we people are going to buy it day know. one. So, I mean, they, yeah. they know what they're doing for some people, so. Um, but yeah, and I think one of our last news items for today is the biggest one of the day. Yeah. And it's the, <laughs> what, what is this? I, what, tie Interceptor. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. No, it's oh a gosh. Tie Interceptor, which in my opinion is the coolest Tie fighter, you know, that exists. They're pretty neat. And uh, uh, and I was super excited when we got the Playscale one mm-hmm, yeah. from the, uh, Great set. the Mandalorian season. This is just incredible. This is awesome. I have no faults with this. I do want it. I actually want this, and I don't usually want the UCS sets. Mm-hmm. So this would look really cool beside the UCS Slave 1, I feel like. Yeah. Which yeah. is one I have. So mm-hmm. I do plan on getting this with store credit sometime when we get one in. There you go. Yeah. And this is... Um, like... Also, UCS Gonk. I mean... <laughs> No, it's a mouse droid. We're, That's what I meant. Sorry. Mouse yeah, droid. you see this mouse droid now variant. I want, now I want a buildable mouse droid. Yeah, uh, like a, a big, bigger yeah. scale one of those. That'd be All awesome. right. Now, you were ratting on this. Yes. Because you're that is weird. Right. Okay, you want to hear my and, problems well, with this? Let set? me just let me just explain. I, I think most people will like this. First why it's cool. Yeah. Because I already explained this to Mark earlier when he said, "Oh, I don't like the studs." Mm-hmm. The original designer for the UCS X-Wing, the first one we got ever, mm-hmm. also did the latest 2023 X-Wing. Yep. Great re- redo, you know, 20 years apart, basically. Super cool. Vastly he improved, yep. This guy also did that next year, you know, from 2002 to 2004, I think it was, he did the original TIE Interceptor UCS, mm-hmm. which was cool. And then he just designed this one as well. So not only is he just updating his designs, he's also putting some nostalgia in those designs. Mm-hmm. Two of those things are the open studs, which I actually think looks good on the wings. Mm-hmm. And number two, the advanced track or advanced targeting systems on the side of the wings. Can you see, see uh, it from the front? On the back. back. No, no, it's, that's on, it's oh, on it's the front. It's like right oh, there in between it. the two wings. Okay. There's two shovels yes, on either side, okay. which he had two shovels on mm-hmm. it in the original Same one as technique. well. I like that. That's good. So deal with it mark <laughs> so I, it's cooler with those details but what yes. do you got daniel I, I don't mind a lot of these details i think there's some very clever parts usage one of the ones that does stand out to me though which somebody else pointed out is on either side of the cockpit there's two game controllers mm-hmm. a little weird and they just they just look like game uh, controllers. A little weird. <laughs> right i don't disagree with that it, especially since they are dark bluish gray as opposed yeah. to the dark or the light blue it's kind of a fun nod to the the origins of of star wars model making and industrial light and magic they would use parts from other model kits right. to make these little greebles and things so they sometimes did look like other things if you actually zoomed in mm-hmm. but i i think in this case maybe it stands out a little too much a little, but they did um, very well with the cockpit 
Train yeah. fans are also getting a little excited about this one, oddly enough. The wheels? Yeah, on the attachment points on the sides of the wings to kind of cap it off. There are like train wheels there. Uh, recolored oh, in sorry. light bluish okay. gray. Oh. you got to get a side view. Side view? I don't know if we have a full side view. Something with a little more side in it. Whatever you got. Keep going. Scroll through them. Mm. Yeah, you can sort of see it there on the left one. It, it, it's, oh, the yeah, smaller, it's the smaller size train wheel re recolored in light bluish gray. Yeah. So, so that's something else for train fans. New color All right, for now tell us what you have wrong with this. Set. All right, so um, I'm picky. Uh, I'm a mock builder. I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I, I I don't have that same nostalgia, don't have the same context and knowledge of the set. But I think the studs don't look quite as good at this scale for this vehicle. I think it's too much texture on the wings, so that 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 bothers me. They're um, doing it in the simplest way possible because they could do that snot. They could do that with tiles. They could do that with other ways that are a little more expensive, a little heavier, but they're kind of shying away from that. Um, secondly, this back view, I really don't like the shaping around the vehicle. I really? think it could be better. On the back? It yes. looks sick. The back is where I have mo most of the issues. <laughs> That's and so it, weird. And so it's like you have a, a two by six area with nothing but studs on the back there, on those, those two wedge plates. And I think there could be a tile there. I think that some of the transitions between the... Uh, vehicle and the wings you've got these kind of uh these curved slopes but they're not the right dimension of curved slopes those smaller ones so you have multiple slopes with multiple interruptions making its way to its point and so it, the, the curvature is not working for me but um i'm not an expert on this ship i'm not an expert Clearly. on star wars so i don't know as much but for me this one doesn't land as well as some of the other ucs scale ships so but um yeah uh, overall, though, I think people will like it a lot. It is a vast improvement. Oh, no, does that have texture on it? They have texture. Yeah, they do. That's so, yeah, you're right. This is why they are wrong. Yeah, so they are more textured than I thought they would be. Uh, a so lot of good. TIE Fighters do have texture yeah. on those large panels. Some mm -hmm. of them, I think, are even more like grills. You can actually yeah. kind of see through yeah. them. They're more like fins. So, so I think the texture. Okay, no, you got texture. I think the texture works here. See, that's, that's lack of it, knowledge. It, my looks, bad. it looks a little regular here because it's Lego studs, and we're used to what that looks like and knowing. No, things they all have texture. You're can, right. On that the big can models, reflect laziness, yeah. but there you go. They really do look like shovels. I know. Don't they? No, that's just a, that's a toy. So I was wrong on the studs, but I still think some of the shaping could be better. I that's think just the shaping was done well. Yeah. All right. Anyway, moving on. I think people will, will like this set. People will be buying it day one. I think this is better than some UCS sets we've gotten. Like I can think of a couple. Like the Land Speeder, I think wasn't as necessary. No, this is this more is, and UCS. This is, this is 230 instead of 240. Yep. And it uh, it's better than like the Hoth battle right. scene for example. And there's, there's it just beats a lot of other UCS sets as far as yeah, yeah. So. I think this is one of the best ones they've done in a while. There you go. And uh, uh, are you going to be getting this I one, Joe? Do thinking want about to it? get this? Yes. So. I will not go. pay for it because I have no money. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if one comes in the store, you can trade. <laughs> That's for what it. I'm going to have to there do. You Did you cover the price? Did you two thirty? Two thirty, which is pretty pretty yeah. affordable for two forty is what they've usually been the last yeah. couple of years. Very well, I, I saw two different prices in two different places. One said 230 one it's said 230 and that so. might be because there's a lack of a second minifig. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the one figure is... But it's a good the figure. Pilot, so. You can't really add a second one? No, there's no one else you need. I mean, they put a uh, mouse droid in there. <laughs> a gong droid would have been cool, but, yeah, I get it. So. I'm glad they didn't put, like, Moff Gideon or something in right, it. That and we'll be getting him in a, in a small pack, because mm -hmm. I do really like that character, and I would have been upset. That would be slightly annoying. But, the, no, this is... Uh, it's all right. I, I'm, I'm actually less bothered by it now that I know that the studs are very accurate. So yeah, it's good. There you go. All right. Cool. Anything else that we have to talk about today? I, I think that was make sure nothing. Anybody else in the comments? Uh, Let's make sure we're not missing anything. See what I'm people just, are talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Morgan pointing out the texture is correct. Uh, Lego Master Schools in session. Well, for some things. Uh, I still think this, this sculpting <laughs> could have been better, but that's okay. Um, yep. And I think that's about I don't it. I oh. anything that's just <laughs> says it's a train set. Yes! <laughs> Trains I, are back, baby. There's actually a pretty valid argument with those train wheels on the sides. I mean, that's right where they should be. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. All righty. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else that's just leaked, so we should be good. Yeah, all righty. No, uh, we'll see a bunch of stuff uh, this afternoon I mean, as, as per usual. I'm sure we will. Sure. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's well, Lord we saw the Artemis this morning, so for yeah, once we actually got something last minute prior to the show instead of after. Just yeah. because a random dude took a picture of in the airport. Yep. Yep. Hey, well, thank you to that random yeah, dude. Awesome. And thank you to all of you watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We do lots of videos right. here on the channel. We'll see you next time. See you, everybody. Bye. Oh.